So when we take on a game that has Shadow's prestige, a lot of responsibility comes with it that you can't just brush off. This is a classic. There's no denying what it is in people's minds in the space of games and that we had to make it as great as people remember it being all over again. And that was a high bar. Going from a PlayStation 2 to a PlayStation 4, there are certain expectations. Just re-releasing it the same way we had it on the PlayStation 3 just wouldn't have done the title justice. We don't even consider it a remaster inside the studio. It is a remake from the ground up. Collectively, we understood this had to be beautiful. I mean, there was never a question about what our goal was, what we had to achieve. And so the question was, how do we get there? One of our biggest challenges has been staying true to the original atmosphere and environment and making sure that we maintain that while also increasing the graphical fidelity and visual quality of the levels. We used a lot of the base geometry for the very original game uh, and kind of built off of that, taking some of those really basic core art direction cues and then expanding it out into a, a larger, more filled out world. I kind of use the analogy, it's kind of like taking a concerto that's just piano and trying to expand it into a symphony. Trying to add all these instruments and then taking the vibe of it, taking the feeling of it, taking the direction of it and expanding it into something that a modern audience would, would enjoy. For instance, the video that we showed at Paris Games Week where Wander wakes up at one of the safe locations, that forest looks vastly different from what it did in the original, but we worked really hard to maintain the feeling that that forest evoked when you first entered it, which was a sense of awe. It was, you're entering a very special place in this world. We rebuilt all the assets. We rebuilt the colossi from the ground up. We had to do it that way. The amount of detail that we needed and the amount of polys that we were pushing um, to get these things looking right. A lot of these colossi took a few months apiece to make. In the first game, one of the most incredible things that I remember was the hair on the colossus, the fur. That was like at the time, I had never seen anything like that, and we felt that it was important for the fur to be interactive and to be one of the central points of the Colossus, like the original one. So a lot of time and effort was spent in just getting that perfect. In addition to making the game better looking, it gave us a second chance to actually improve the things we couldn't before. So the vision was, let's take old control scheme, make some improvements to it that people would expect to get the game kind of more ready for a new audience. At the same time, we didn't want to alienate the old audience, so we have a full classic control mode that allows people to play the game exactly the way they remembered it. We wanted to make sure from the very get-go that having a, a solid frame rate had to be at the top of our goals. So the collision got changed, got made better. So much work has gone into rebuilding the collision for this game. Moving the game to 4K, supporting HDR, supporting uh, 60 frames a second on the PS4 Pro, those were all significant technical challenges that we had that uh, thankfully turned out really great. The one thing that's definitely good is that Ueda has a great amount of trust in what we do because we had already done the remaster, and so I think that helped a great deal on our current project. Everybody has a very clear picture in their own mind of what Shadow is. We obviously have to try and interpret all of those things from all the millions of different fans that this game has, and that is, it's not a burden, it's an honor and it's a, a great responsibility to take on. And we're fortunate that we're in a position where we can do that. It was an absolute honor to work on this project. It's so cool, man. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. players.